What's up today, boys and girls? My uh, new AEM high flow fuel pump just showed up. And I'm gonna be installing this in my 84 square body, K30 with a six liter LQ4 swap. I left the old standard transmission in. Um, as you can see, I'm currently just trying to get some of the fuel drained out of the tank here. Uh, the tank's pretty full, but I've got it all apart, ready to go. So I'm hoping that this pump is going to do the job. It was actually not that bad price-wise. I got it off Amazon for like 150 bucks, And I'm assuming it's going to look very similar to this old aftermarket Chev one that I got out of the junkyard. So I'm going to get this box opened up and we'll have a look at what's going on. And I'm also going to show you, for you guys that might be doing or might have done an LQ4 swap, I'm running a Corvette regulator and fuel filter, which I just installed a brand hammer new one because this truck's been swapped now for a few years. But on the inside, I might as well show you now, I guess, get into this. Inside in this old unit, the return line coming off of this fuel pressure regulator only had, as you can see, I drilled a new hole here. It only had two small pinholes, which I believe was causing pressure buildup, which might have been what was showing me those high readings from before. So I just drilled a little bigger hole in that to allow it to, um, you know, bypass off, blow back into the tank a little freer than through the little tiny, tiny needle holes that are into it the way it is. But this is just a homemade, you know, I took the old unit from the old truck and basically just rigged it up that I can run this high fuel pressure, higher fuel pressure pump. So... Anyway, I'll get this box tour open here and we'll get into this. All right, so we got this bad boy all opened up and unboxed. I'm not going to be using all the pieces because I'm pretty sure as far as the plug-in goes, um, they look to be the same. So I'm just going to leave, hopefully leave my plug-in in the truck and it should be fine. Um, you take this little cap off the bottom of the pump to install the new filter and then we're pretty much going to be ready to pull this cap off put the line on drop it in the tank all right so we got it all rigged up i was right the plug-in was exactly the same we got the filter on i am working with a real dirty crappy surface here so please forgive that but we're going to get this drop back in Get this stupid ring thing all sealed up and back in place. And you can hear the old gas is being drained as we speak. Uh, I have to go get some old clothes on and wrestle this dirty bugger back up in place and bolt her in there. And then I'll have to connect my main fuel line, of course. Well, tank's in. There's still lots of fuel into it. Everything's wired up. Main lines connect it. No other proper thing to do, but see if this thing will fire up. I'm pretty sure the pressure gauge is still hooked up underneath the hood, so once we get it running, we'll have a scope on that and see what's going on. All right, the big question. Will she fire up?
right, so this thing got me fed up, so the tank's back down. What I did was I unhooked the return line coming out of my Corvette regulator. I got it going into this tank and sit into the gas tank. And look at this. So what I ended up doing was I dropped the tank back down. I took the return line off and I put the return line in a jug. And when I did that, it lowered the fuel pressure substantially. So I took the unit apart that I got inside my tank. I showed you guys there where I drilled it. But I did not realize that on the return line, on the inside was this pressure regulator from factory with this ball in it and when I hooked a hose to my return line going back into my tank put it my mouth and blew on it it was very very restricted so I ended up drilling a big hole in that unit that top cap part that sits right in the tank there the top side not my pump but up farther drilled a big hole in that removed that regulator that the old setup had from factory and now what we have we've got almost 50 pounds just on prime Coolant sensor is now bad too. But... What a pig! Ready to work. 